Oh, look at wow. that. So we just pulled that off right on top of her nerves there. All right guys, Dr. Antonio Webb here, orthopedic spine surgeon here in San Antonio, Texas. Today we're doing a lumbar disc replacement. This is a procedure that is done to treat conditions relating to the spine, such as disc degeneration disease, stenosis, which is tightening of the spinal canal, or nerve impingement. So our patient has severe degeneration of her disc. Today we're going to help with that. So these are the imaging studies here. These are the bones called the vertebrae, every level here. And then in between each of these vertebrae, you have your disc or your cushion. These cushions are supposed to be white like this here. These are healthy discs. And over time, these cushions wear out and they turn dark like this and then it starts to spit out. So this patient has a large disc protrusion here and then these are called modic changes or inflammation, that little white area. You see there's a large disc protrusion that's pushing on the, uh, the nerve root. At this level, it's the S1 nerve root and it's causing uh, pain down the patient's uh, leg. So this is a relatively quick procedure. It takes 45 minutes to an hour. We use a vascular surgeon for the approach and yeah, most patients go home within 23 hours. So we're gonna get started here soon and you guys are gonna hang out with with me today. All right, so lumbar disc replacement is a great surgical option for patients that have uh, back and leg pain, essentially. Um, it has really strict indication, so it's usually a younger patient that has minimal arthritis, what's called disc degeneration disease. The cushions in our low back and our neck throughout our spine, they don't really last forever, just like the tires on your car and need to be replaced. So it's very similar to a knee replacement or hip replacement where we're replacing the parts. We're doing the same thing today. My vascular surgeon is inside the case here he's working he's going to make an incision on the lower aspect of the abdomen and will give me vascular access so he'll open it up and i will go in and do my part so about to get started here soon all right so we have a uh, you can pull that needle we, we marked our midline here. We know where the middle of the uh, spine is. We have to put this implant right in the middle. So now we're just uh, doing the discectomy part of the procedure. This is the uh, L5 vertebral body here. This is the S1. I'm just marking it out with my bovie here. I have my partner, Dr. E. John Way, who's a spine surgeon also. Her level is really collapsed down, so I'm just marking out where we're gonna do the discectomy. So I'm feeling the top part of the bone is right there. Have a medium straight push. So right now we're just preparing the end plates. We're cleaning her end plates, taking all this disc off of it that's worn out. She has a large herniation on the, uh, on the left side of her spine. That's compressing her nerve. You can see this, this is a pretty severe collapse here. This is L5, this is the S1 vertebral body. And uh, we're trying to open it up. It just keeps closing back down here. Can you see that kerosene, please? Yep. There you go. We have another kerosene. So we have a lot of specialized instruments that we're using now that are specifically designed to carefully, and here's a large piece of disc that I just pulled right off of her spinal canal there. This is a lot more collapsed and uh, stenotic, tight that what the MRI showed. But we're getting close. Just carefully operating right on top of her spinal canal here. Yeah. Oh, there's a disc right there. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Oh, Look at wow. that. So we just pulled that off for right on top of her nerves there. Okay, we have a large curve, please. Yeah, that feels pretty free there. All right, let me have the implants, the trial. Shot, please. Man, that's Yeah. Yeah. Shoot. All right, let's get an AP, please. 
So she has pretty severe collapse in bone on bone. I always counsel patients or talk to them about the possibility of effusion if I get in there and it's too collapsed down. So hers is kind of right on the edge. We can zoom in also. We can mag it if you want. So right now we're making sure that this implant is the trial. That's just a temporary one is right down the middle. And that's what the implant needs to be for the disc replacement to work effectively. Save that and put it to the right, please. And then uh, let's come back to the lateral. Yeah, so I kind of like this. Um, I can't go any taller than this. The medial lateral fits fine. Okay, let's go ahead, let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna mark this. It's kind of right where we were, where we were thinking right here. I'm gonna mark out this box here. Yeah. Sometimes I would like nibble a little bone away. there so now that we marked our midline we have a this is a chisel that goes into the bone to form a little path this implant has kills uh, the uh, implants are made of cobalt chrome um, these kills will go right into the little area where I just chiseled this is the implant here Cobalt chrome that's going into the uh, this space. Okay, now it. Shot, please. Shot. Shoot. Yeah. So we just finished with the implant. Implant looks really good on the AP and also lateral view. Right now, the vascular surgeon is going to close her belly and uh, kind of get her off to recovery. But this is a alternative to a fusion. So it's a usually younger patients. We can get them off for a quicker recovery instead of a four to six to a year recovery for a fusion. This is four to six weeks. Patients are walking the same day of surgery. She'll be in the hospital for one day. She goes home in the morning and uh, off to recovery. So uh, really great procedure. If your surgeon is not offering a disc replacement, I would advise to ask for it or come see me in office. See you guys next time.